previous video we have completed 5 sums of exercise 24a. In this video we will continue exercise 24a and we will complete questions from 6 to 13. Let us see what we have to do in question 6. The maximum daily temperatures of a city during a week are given below. First sub question is find the mean temperature. Second sub question is find the range of the data. Let us first write formula for mean. Mean is equals to sum of observations upon number of observations. On adding temperatures of 7 days, we get 198.8. So, mean is 198.8 divided by 7. And which on division comes to 28.4. So, mean temperature is 28.4 degree Celsius. Second part of the question is to find a range of data. To find range of data, we have to arrange temperatures in ascending order. We have arranged temperatures in ascending order. Range of data is equals to maximum value minus minimum value. Here, maximum is 32.6 and minimum is 24.6. So, 32.6 minus 24.6 is 8. So, range of data is 8. Seventh question. If the mean of 4, 6, x, 9, 10, 5 is 7, find the value of x. In this sum, value of mean is given, but one of the observation is x that is unknown and we have to find that observation. Let us write the formula first. Mean is equals to sum of observation by number of observations. And what we are given, mean is equals to 7, number of observations is equals to 6. If you count, there are 6 observations including x, which is also one of the observations. Let us substitute all this in the formula. We have 7 is equals to 4 plus 6 plus x plus 9 plus 10 plus 5 by 6. 6 we will take on left side. We will add all the observations. So, we have... 6 into 7 equals to 34 plus x. 42 is equals to 34 plus x. x is equals to 42 minus 34 or x is equals to 8. Next question. Question number 8. The number of children in 25 families are given below. Represent the above data in the form of frequency distribution. Data given here shows number of children in 25 families. Let us check what is the lowest number of children that is 0 and highest number of children is 4. So, let us first arrange the data in ascending order. Let us now make frequency distribution table with 3 columns. First column heading is number of children, second heading is tally marks and third is number of families of frequency. Number of children ranges from 0 to 4. So, first column will have number of children as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. From data in ascending order, we can see there are two families with 0 children. In tallies column, we will draw two vertical strokes called tally marks and frequency or number of families will be 2. There are 6 families with 1 child. To draw 6, we will first make 4 lines, 5th line will be always a crossed line and 6th one will draw 1 stroke. So, frequency will be 6. Similarly, for families with 2 children, there are 9 families. So, make a 5, that means 4 and cross and again 4 and frequency is 9. Number of families with 3 children is 5. Number of families with 4 children is 3. If you add all these frequencies or number of families, you get 25. Total 25 families are there. Let us do sum number 9. A dice was thrown 30 times and the following outcomes were noted. Represent the above data in the form of frequency distribution. We will first arrange the data in ascending order. This sum is similar to question 8. We will just have a look at the answers. Things of 3 columns will be outcome tally marks and number of outcomes. We know if we throw a dice, outcomes can be from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We will write tally marks for each and write the number of outcomes or frequencies. Add all the frequencies and total in this case is 30. 
obtained some. Find the mean weight of 50 boys from the following data. Data is given in tabulated form. It is a tabulated data. Data here is given in horizontal rows. We will change it to vertical columns. So this is our table. First column has weight in kg. We will label it as xi. Second column is number of boys frequency fi. In third column we will multiply xi and fi. Let us first write weights and frequencies. We will multiply xi with corresponding fi and write the value in third column. After writing all the values we have to find sum of fi and xi which in this case comes to 2730. We will also find sum of fi which comes to 50. Formula to find mean is mean is equals to sum of xi fi divided by sum of fi that is 2730 divided by 50 which comes to 54.6. So mean is equals to 54.6 kg. Question 11 is similar to question 10. Heights in centimeter of 90 plants in a garden are given below. We are given tabulated data in horizontal form. We will change it to vertical form. First column will have height in centimeter that is xi. Second column will have number of plants fi. And third column we will write multiplication of xi and fi. Let us write values of xi in first column. fi in second column also find sum of fi. Third column, let us write multiplication values of xi, fi and find sum of fi, xi. Sum of fi is 90 and sum of xi, fi is 5634. This is our formula for mean. Mean is equals to sum of fi, xi divided by sum of fi. That is 5634 divided by 90. On division, this answer comes to 62.6. So, mean is equals to 62.6 centimeter. Twelfth sum, find the mean height of 65 boys from the following data. We are given height in centimeter that is xi and number of boys fi of frequency. This sum is also similar to previous sum. Let us convert horizontal table to vertical form. So first column will be height in centimeter xi, number of boys fi and product of xi fi let us enter values of height in first column and number of boys or fi in second column we will multiply xi and fi and write it in third column next we will find sum of fi we already know there are 65 boys but we will just add them again and confirm we have written correct values so sum of fi here is 65 Next, we will add sum of xi fi which comes to 9542. Our next step will be to write the formula and substitute the values of sum of fi xi and fi which comes to 9542 divided by 65 that is 146.8. So, mean height of the boys is 146.8 centimeter. 13th question is the last question of this video or this exercise. If mean of the following frequency distribution is 15, find the value of P. In this sum, we are given mean. Mean is 15 and one of the frequency is missing. That is P we have to find. We will start in the same way. We will write variable xi and frequency in vertical columns. Let us label the columns as variable xi, frequency fi and product xi, fi. Let us enter the values of variable xi and frequency fi. Now we can find sum of fi which comes to 88 plus p that is one of the missing frequency. And now let us find product of xi, fi. Notice here too one of the reading, second reading is 12 into p, 12p. So, sum of xi fi is 1356 plus 12p. Let us now substitute all these values in the formula. So, mean 15 is equals to 1356 plus 12p upon 88 plus p. 
88 plus P will get multiplied by 15 and we have 15 into 88 plus P is equals to 1356 plus 12 P. We will multiply the bracket by 15. We have 1320 plus 15 P is equals to 1356 plus 12 P. We will bring 12 P to the left side and 1320 we will take to right side. So now we have 15 P minus 12 P equals to 1356 minus 1320 or 3p equals to 36 p equals to 36 by 3 or p equals to 12 exercise 24a is over now for more such videos subscribe if you have not do not forget to like and share the video thank you for watching